Hi everybody and welcome to center two of our honeybees unit, all part of our designs in nature theme. This is a super fun center. If you can do it outside, I would recommend it um, just because you'll, you'll have more space. If not, um, you can make it work inside, but you'll have to cut maybe the hallway or um, a bigger area of the classroom. So this is a really cool, this is really cool information about how bees find, tell each other where to find um, different flowers. So um, they do two different dances. One is for flowers that are within 100 yards, and that is called the circle dance. And the bees pretty much move in a circle, and it doesn't really indicate direction, it just lets the other bees know that there are flowers close by, and they can find food there, so they send them out and they stay within that 100 yard range in order to find the flowers. The other one, more complicated one, is called the wagging dance, and it is when flowers are further than 100 yards. And it's a pretty complex system. You probably won't be able to go into all the intricate details with the, um, with the students, but depending on their age level, you might be able to talk a little bit more. But um, what happens is they do a figure eight shape and they kind of use the direction of the sun, and this is all done in the hive. Um, they use the direction of the sun to kind of point toward where the flowers are that they want to send out the, the worker bees to. So they, and it's, it's the, kind of the center of the figure eight is, and, and you can see here, if the sun is up here and the flowers are over here, the center of the figure eight is pointing toward the flower. So that's one part of it, is the direction of the, of the diagonal of the figure eight. The second part is the wagging or the waggling. Um, the faster they waggle, the closer the flowers are. So pretty complicated dance that they do in order to go find their food sources. Pretty cool. So this center has students acting out these dances and we have some different props. Um, we have a couple beads, and I might try to make or find a few more of these, but if not, you can have students alternate. There is a, a scout bee, I think, so if nothing else, you could have the scout bee wear one of these. Then we have this for the flower, um, and we have a prop for the sun. So they get to act out these dances um, to, to demonstrate how bees find their, find their food sources. So that'll be kind of a fun, especially for the performers in the group, they'll have fun with that. The second part of this is we have a bunch of, we'll have a few containers with a bunch of cotton balls inside. And then I have three different types of extract, peppermint, vanilla, and orange, because I figure those all smell pretty different. They should be pretty recognizable. But what we do here is you'll have three different clusters so you'll, there'll be three containers, and depending on if somebody went bef right before you, you might still have some scented cotton balls in these containers. If you can't, if they're not really potent, feel free to dump them out, get some more cotton balls, and and scent them accordingly. But anyway, throughout the uh, wherever you're working, th throughout the workspace, you'll have three different clus clusters of flowers with the three different scents. And you'll so let's say this is scented with vanilla. So you'll have, um, you'll have vanilla, and then there'll be another, and then this would have the orange, and this would have the peppermint, and then about 15 feet away, you would have another cluster of flowers with the three scents, and about 15 feet in another direction, you would have another cluster. You can do it with two clusters for the younger kids. You could go up to three with the older kids, depending on space and time. Then you would send out, um, you would send out a scout bee, maybe you have the other kids facing away, send out a scout bee to go to one of the clusters and grab one cotton ball. Because this is how they work. The scout bee comes back, the other bees scent, smell their scent, and then they do the dance, and then they go fine based on the scent and the dance. So the scout bee would bring back one smelly cotton ball and have the other, it would attempt to do the wagging dance. So this is where, you know, they try to point with their bodies based on one of the three clusters of flowers. So then the other students would smell, get the, get the general direction, 
and then they would go out, fly out, and see if they can also bring back um, a similar scented cotton ball. So this would be, this could be fun. You could, if time permits, you could have each student be the scout bee. Um, if you don't have time for that, then just make sure they get a couple different tries, a couple different scents, but it should be a lot of fun and um, really give them an idea of how, how bees go about making honey and finding, finding the energy to do so. So another fun center, lots of information, plan accordingly. And if you have any questions, email us at mitchellelf at gmail.com. Thanks.